Hi and welcome back to another entry in my garden diary. It's winter and there's not much growing in my beds, which has made it hard to want to go and tend to all of the outdoor tasks that need completing. But as is often the case, a trip to the local nursery reawakened my love for winter, and particularly the flowers that add so much vibrance to these cold months. Pansies. I have all of these old pots that need some life breathed into them, so I thought these would be perfect for holding the mini pansies that I bought. February is a week away, and if you're a February baby, you might know that pansies are this coming month's birth flower. It's fitting that the month that claims Valentine's Day is also the month that celebrates a flower that used to be the symbol of love in Victorian England. In Hamlet, Ophelia hands the king and queen flowers as she explains their meaning, saying, and here's pansies, that's for thoughts. Gifting pansies meant telling their receiver that they were occupying your mind. Now, pansies are ubiquitous in spring and autumn and grow well in winter in my zone. I love picking out different colors and finding ways to combine them or match them with the colors of my pots. They look small now, but they will get quite bushy and voluminous as they grow. Last year, I made a cake and decorated it with pansy petals, which, along with their leaves, are completely edible and have a slightly floral taste. I also press a lot of them, which you can see me do in my first garden diary, and I like to put them in letters to my friends. Here I'm planting some daffodil bulbs about 6 inches from the surface and planting pansies on top of them. They will actually grow up through the pansies in the spring, and since the daffodils are quite taller than the pansies, it will create a staggered display of colors that I can't wait to see. I wanted to make a temporary plant stand that wouldn't cost any money, so I found some cinder blocks and bricks in the yard as well as some old decking boards and made this makeshift stand that holds all of the pots perfectly.
It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I think it adds some color to the deck that was really missing before. I also just began starting seeds under grow lights. Here I'm planting some sweet peas, which I'll need to make a trellis for in one of my upcoming videos. I think it's always so interesting to see the varying shapes, sizes, and colors of seeds that different plants produce. The sweet peas have a dark, round seed, and the calendula seeds have an almost seashell quality. Start your computations. I think we're getting into a weird area here. between two emotions, impatient for the many blooms and possibilities of spring and summer, and content to have the company of pansies before they fall away in the warmth. <laughs> Thank you.